In the past 30 minutes, I have attempted four heresy threat level missions, and in the past 30 minutes, I failed four heresy threat level missions. So, just to give you a quick explanation of the difficulties, they're called threat levels in Dark Tide, and there's five. So, I just said sedition would be very easy, uprising will be easy, and then malice normal, heresy, hard, and then damnation. Very hard. And this isn't really explained to players, so I don't blame anyone for this because it's it's really unfortunate that Fat Shark haven't given any info on where you should roughly be in regards to readings and missions and their difficulties. But I want to try and give you a little bit of info here just from what I've learned by playing the game. I don't go onto Reddit, I don't go onto Steam discussions or the official forums. I play and I pass on knowledge from playing to the player base, or well, you guys who watch the videos at least. So you'll notice that there's a little number here beside my weapons. That is the rating. This number 434 is divided between all the stats, the perks, as well as the blessings, and just pretty much everything. The higher that is, then the more you've got to work with. You'll notice that both of my weapons are above 400, or well above 430 really. And it's kind of sad actually, here's a little bit of backstory. These weapons, I acquired them quite early into the leveling experience as soon as that weapon was available to me. I upgraded them as soon as I could, and of course the rating's going to be lower because I upgraded them at a lower level. My curios are above 100, as you can see here. And this is basically where I'd recommend you to be before attempting heresy. Of course, you need to be level 30. The more uh, feats you have unlocked, then the more of a benefit you're going to be to both yourself and your team. Of course, the higher the level you are, the better the feats become. So in my opinion, be level 30. It's better for you and it's better for your team. And it doesn't take too long to get there. But in relation to weapons, I would say above 400. And in relation to curios, that's a bit more of a difficult question to answer. Um... Overall, I would say, determine that yourself. Look at the actual blessings and perks you have available on them. And if they're over 90 to 100, then I'd say that's where you should roughly be. But in relation to weapons, 400. If it's for Malice and lower, 300. Malice is where you should be most of the time anyway, difficulty-wise, until you get to, you know, the higher end of things. But in my personal experience, to players who just don't have any idea how the reading system works and the difficulty system, a rule of thumb for me has been, and again, this is my personal opinion, Weapons at 400, Curios at 90 to 100. So, if that's helpful to you, I'm glad I've helped. But in regards to feats mainly, please be level 30, because I've seen so many lower levels join, get downed, and immediately leave. It happens constantly. And I don't fully blame them. I mean, common sense should come into it to a certain degree, but again, it's not explained.